to, um, first of all, just say, who was here the very first year, if you'll raise your hand? Okay, we are so excited. And I believe we almost had someone here from every single year, so we are so excited to be here. Um, my name is Cheryl Barnadale. I think most of you know me, but it's been my pleasure to work with Clarence & Company for several years now. And it's one of the great joys of, of my life. And I truly enjoy everything that I get to do with 4-H and particularly Clovers & Company, George 4-H Clovers & Company. And we're just so thrilled again to welcome you back home. And today we have a very special thing that's going to happen. We're going to have an alumni showcase. This is the first time that we've ever done something like this. And we've invited some of our alumni to join us today and perform for you and with you. And following the alumni showcase, we will have a reception down at the senior, the Georgia EMC Senior Pavilion, and we encourage all of you to join us. There's still room if you have not um, paid to join us. We'd love to have you join us because well, there'll be lots of visiting, there'll be lots of pictures, there'll be a highlight reel of the past 32 years of Clevers and Company. So we hope that you'll join us there. And also, we want you to get to mingle with our current Clevers and Company cast who is so excited to have you here, and they want to learn about you and welcome you back as well. Um, at this point, I will. Um, that's kind of how the day's going to run, and we are again welcome back. And I'm going to turn it over to our show directors, Bo and David, and they're going to start our showcase. So thank you very much again for being here. We look forward to visiting with you. Oh, one more thing: we will have, following the reception, an open mic, and we encourage any of you alumni to stick around because we know you still got it. Okay. We know you do, and we want to hear it. So, and you know, I know that Keisha's playing something special, and she's probably going to kill me for saying that. And Allison and Tara have planned something, and Mike's going to do something, and and I'm picking on people. Diane's going to get up and choreograph something for us. Um, so, so we're going to have a great time. That's my point. So please feel free to stay with us. We really want you to um, to stay with us and. Hang out for a while, let us know how you are, and enjoy the rest of the evening with us. So with that, Bo and David. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you all for being here. My goodness, it's so good to see friendly, familiar faces. Wow, and there's so many of us, and your families, and, and you've, you've procreated. There's lots of little ones around here, and that's exciting, too. It just, it's wonderful to, to fill up this auditorium with future 4 Hers as well. Um, what about this Clovers & Company cast? I want to They are almost as good as all of those old 32 shows that we've done. It's just phenomenal. Hopefully you recognize a lot of elements. I had the privilege of sitting just in front of Pam Peel and uh, that tap dancing came out and she was just ready to roll with that and jump up, raise the roof. Pam, alright. And um, y'all are just not going to believe it when we pull out and do the lollipop number. The <laughs> it's going to be great. But well, did you see Diane Smathers on the on the fly and stuff? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 just great. But cast, we are so proud of you. And this next part is just going to be a lot of fun. We don't want to spend a lot of time talking. No long videos. For those of you who have been there before, we're not doing all of that. We're just going to have some fun. Um, we've got some outstanding alumni. Goodness, all of y'all are amazing. But there were, there were a few we just said, hey, if you're going to come, we know folks are going to want to hear you. And it brings just, um, just a snapshot of just the caliber of where we've gone. We've got alumni who are in the performing arts who are out there recording and singing and you see them on stage and you see them on TV and you hear them on the radio and that's exciting. We have alumni who are out there in every aspect of music and production though, who are instructors, who are pastors, who are in music business. Who work in the Mayo Clinic. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, here in every every aspect. I think Bo's going to talk a little bit. He, he confessed that he had a favorite Clovers and Company member today, and uh, that was kind of exciting to hear, and I was crushed that it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> David, it's, uh, it, it's so fun to be here. Uh, just two or three things, and we're going to have four, five, three, six. We got a few folks that we've called on to do just a few songs for us right here while we're in the auditorium. And then we do hope, uh, and I didn't know Mike was singing. I, down to see the pavilion later tonight, though, Mike Sawalski, uh, singing. It's 
uh, it, it is, it is, when everybody needs to leave, I got it, I got it, Mike. Thank, thank you for being here. It's so good to see you, and I look forward to talking to each of you, visiting and catching up a little bit as we go down there. As you did see today, and David said, well, you know, it's still a lot of fun, and we're still at it. Uh, first thing I've got to do is, in full confession, say that Cheryl didn't lie when she said, I'm retiring, but I need to, to elaborate just a little bit right here. As this year went along, I did say I thought it was probably the time that I probably needed to uh, finish up this, this phase of what I was doing. Then lots of incredible things came into my life that challenged me a lot this year. It made me stop and think about those things that are most important. And, and I realized that this is one of them. And so I asked Bill, I asked uh, Bill, I asked uh, Art Smith and Cheryl Vaughn, though David and I met at the farm and agreed that, you know, we'd like to do this again. And they renewed our contract. And so we were on Y'all know how that is, zero. But we're going to keep David Jones' salary the same. Because we now pay David a dozen eggs and a pound of coffee, Stacy, every now and then. And uh, we're going to keep that the same. But we're going to keep going. Because this is just a really, really good thing. And you are what makes it work. But we can't do this reunion and we can't talk about closing the company without stopping and remembering that back in 1980, this guy that's not real tall in stature, but tall, had this idea. Ladies and gentlemen, the founder of Clover Company, Mr. Billy. Billy, anything you want to say to this group? what I saw tonight, something that was started 32 years ago, that's a long time for something that you've been involved with. Um, I would go around and name those that were in here 32 years ago, but I knew somebody. Uh, but uh, I'm just so glad to see so many of the former Clovers and Company members here, and I hope to speak to you and see you and catch up on what you're doing in life. Uh, the show was fantastic. What do you think of the show? Um, I would like for all the volunteers, not all the volunteers, all those that have worked with Clover the Company and staff to stand up. Stand up. These are the people that work with the show. make this, all this possible, and I'm just glad to be here, and uh, I am standing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bill. <laughs> David, you ready to get this started? Yeah. Got your microphone. Let's go. Trey, come on up here. I think David's about to talk about you. Yeah, I'll talk about him as he gets up here. Uh, Trey's got to say Today, I had to ask him, my God, have you continued to grow since you um, got out of here? He is four inches taller at least. And um, it truly one of the best, best voices, best tenor voices I have ever heard. And um, Trey is a Habersham County 4 H'er. He's also the proud brother of two current players and company cast members. And um, um, we're not going to ask Trey to dance like Zach tonight, but we are going to ask Trey to sing. Um, Trey presently is at Indiana University. He's a vocal instructor. Instructor. He's in graduate school. He's a vocal performance grad from Shorter College. Um, just amazing. He's going to sing a, an opera number for us, and uh, you are going to be impressed, as will the people of Weimar, Germany, who hear him this summer at the Lyric Opera. Where he So, uh, I'm guessing most of you don't speak Russian, so I thought I'd take this time to tell you a little bit about what I'll be singing about. Nor do um, I, so as I try to follow him, just bear with me. So, um, so this piece uh, is Lenski's aria. It's from Tchaikovsky's opera, Eugene Onyegin. Um, and I'll be singing uh, the, the tenor, Lenski. Um, and what's just happened is I've just come from a ball, 
Um, and basically my best friend has tried to take my fiance away from me. So in the art of, you know, true opera, I have challenged him to a duel to the death. Um, and after the opera, I think you'll be able to hear it in the piece. Um, I'm the one who dies. He lives. Um, yeah, the ten is always, yeah. We're either lovesick puppies or dead. Um, but, um, so this piece is, is uh, it kind of transitions, and, and you'll see that. It transitions almost from me being really sad, and by the end I'm almost welcoming death. Um, the last couple lines are, um, I'm almost calling it to me, um, because I can't deal with the pain anymore, you know? Okay. Is uh, that what this is about? <laughs> it, yeah, this is there. Uh, I'm gonna try, uh, in trouble fashion, to sing without a microphone. Um, I, think, I think it'll work just fine. If you guys have problems, let me know and I'll grab a mic real quick and we'll just start over. Okay? Oh, <laughs> 
Mr. John Glosson, thank you, John. He was a Jeff Davis County Courage when I met him, and we are so glad that John's family is with him here today. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's fun to be here. I knew I recognized the smell when I walked in the room. <laughs> They took the carpet up. I'm like, I don't care. It still stinks. I'm kidding. It doesn't stink. It smells wonderful. And it's great for my allergies and everything else. I sort of feel like I'm doing the DPA project again. This is so weird. Like, the lights are on. They can't have any stage lights. You know, you, you got to see everybody. The, I guess I'm missing the judges. Those are some intimate... Great, they're here. 
So anyway, well, I'm just going to sing then. Uh, but I am so glad that I did choose my last year of high school to be in Clovers and Company. It was, it was a blast. It was fun to meet people and go places and do things. And obviously it was a, a great door open for this past summer when I sang with Jennifer. Um, because that was one of the, I guess one of the premises of the first person she picked was to be in 4-H. So there I was and there she was and we hooked up and we had a great time. But today I actually sang this show this song on the show with Jennifer, uh, but I'm going to sing it for you today. When you say you love me. <laughs> like the sound of silence falling, hear your voice suddenly
people all over the world uh, uh, watching John there on TV as time went on. We got, we're bringing a, how many of you were in Clover's the Company with Craig Moore? Quite a few of you out here. Well, Craig has been working this weekend. He has been here with a group. Craig was just recently ordained as a minister. And one of the uh, great, great singers and pianist of all time with Clovers and Company, ladies and gentlemen, from the Dynasty, newly Reverend Craig Moore.
reintroduce many of you, my good friend, Miss Carol J. Buffard. She's former Lincoln County 4 Hr and uh, she's an Ithaca College alumna of musical theater. She now hails from New York City where she literally, folks, got off a plane and drove here, and um, she's here, and we're just happy to have her. She wrapped up an amazing show that was extended twice. Um, in, in New York called um, Body and Soul. Body and Soul. She's also had other sultry titles like Speakeasy and um, lots of fun things like that. Um, anyway, she's a hot ticket in New York. She was recently on the front page of the entertainment section of Wall Street Journal, I want you to know. And they quoted her as saying, um, the, the, the quote from that review said, it turns out that the great Sophie Tucker was not, in fact, the last of the Red Hot Mamas that title can now be claimed by the young Miss Carol Buck. So, so uh, and if you don't believe any of that, um, the reviews are just stellar. Just sign up to be Facebook friends with her daddy and you can read them all. Yes. So, uh, True. Love you, Bill. Good to see y'all here too. All right. This is you. Okay. <laughs> so good to be here tonight. I'm so excited. I'm running on three hours of sleep, so <laughs> bear with me. <laughs> and I just saw Craig Moore, who I haven't seen in so long. <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> Once I lived the life of a millionaire, spending my money, I didn't have a care. Are over, and life 
is like a song. Oh, yeah, yeah. At last, the skies of above have turned to blue. Well, my heart was wrapped up in clover. That I could speak to you. A dream that I can call my own. I found a thrill to press my cheek to. A thrill that I side of Pringle cans, paper dolls, in and everywhere. People stand in line forever. This lady has Grammys lying all around her place. One of the biggest stars in the world. We, of course, know who she is, but as I said before, she knows who we are. When 4-H came under great, great challenge just a few years ago, this lady went to the General Assembly and did a whole lot to save us. One of the biggest stars in the world who was right here and today has been walking around talking about Muskogee land and touring around this place. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the one and only Miss Jennifer Meadows. summers after that when I was in college. I have met such wonderful friends. Mike, some, some of whom I've gone on to work with in, in the business. Mike Savolsky, Brad Sykes, I saw you somewhere wherever you are. August, oh there you are. Hey coach. <laughs> Brought the bride. I love it. Come talk about the children. And also of course John Blossom. And I just, I love this organization. I can't sing its praises enough. We're going to take it. We're going to take you back. We're going to do a little uh, lollipop. A little, yes, <laughs> Pam <Pamper. laughs> So good. Um, we're in, this, is a, this is a Clover's classic we're going to start with. And I would like to sing this actually for Mr. Bill, who I haven't sang in so long. And I know you love this song, and I hope I do it half justice here. I, I would also like to say, like Carol, by the way, um, I, I, I too am going on three hours of sleep, but that's because I have a three-month-old. So it's, it's all good. <laughs> it's not nearly as glamorous as coming in on the airplane, but uh, I'll take it. It's, it's very sweet. Thank you. 
Awesome. Thank you guys. That was so dang much fun. Bo, Cheryl, what do we need to do next while we got everybody here? Photos. Okay, what we'd like to do, okay, we'd like to keep all the cast and alumni on stage right now. Any other alumni in the audience and any other category cast, please come join us. We'd like to get a great picture. So.